Okay, guys, welcome to the finale of Terra Nova. I think we have, like I said before, in the end of the last portion, we have about two or three missions left. So we're gonna go over here. Oh, sorry, just making sure we're recording again. Yes, record. Recording looks good. Uh, where's my game? There we go. Recording looks good. Uh, let's go back to full screen so it doesn't look like hell. All right, so nothing in here, no news, no library, exit. Uh, okay, no new medals or anything like that. Probably not gonna get all the medals in the game because I did not have the best performance on some missions, but that's okay. That 275, and look at that Gomez, man, my girl. Fucking killing it again. Look at the assists on her though. Although look at Malonis, man, these two are good. And I think I'm right to leave Stedman behind. Now, she is new. She's only been on eight drops, but still, I think I'm right to leave her behind. And McElpeen, he's just a good, solid demo guy. So. For those who don't already know it, our local barkeep. Sonny McAllister is a former Hegemony pilot. Before he defected, he hit a small Hegemony scout ship on Thatcher. The computer on board that ship could be our key to enter Carpaccio Station, a station which has become the most important strategic location in the war. The Hogs have all the anti-air defenses up around the station, so there's no way we can get a dropship in. Unless, that is, we can get the access codes from Sonny's ship and shut down the artillery. Nicola will be leading a squad to recover that ship. Brandt will be going with him. He's the only available soldier with adequate pilot training. The ship is located in this vicinity, in one of the many ravines in the area. You'll need to have an electronics expert along to repair the ship. Once it's ready, Brandt will fly it out. The area is still being patrolled by hegemony troops, and there may even be a small base nearby. So you might want to avoid combat if at all possible. It is essential that you retrieve that ship. Don't call for the dropship until Brant is long gone. Good luck. Shit, we could try for stealth, but the stealth in this game is like, ugh. They're recommending a heavy suit, so maybe not. I guess we're probably going to get overrun. MB cannon, very nice. Yes, and a particle beam. Um, and no, I don't want an exploder drone. I want auto turrets. Brant's gonna fly it. Rossi is my electrician's guy. I'd rather have gags. And he's on a mission. And weapons, you know who I want. She's gone. What is RP? Repair. I'll give DeWitt the benefit of the doubt. But we're gonna give him a particle beam. Well, actually, I don't know. He might be better with the Ionic Fusion Rifle than I am with whatever. And a personal shield for him. Um, I can't reiterate how important this is, Nick. We need those codes in Sunny's ship or we'll never be able to retake Carpaccio Station and keep the Hogs from overrunning us with warships. Good luck. Okay. Alright, so let's take a look at the map. Search area. Alright. Uh, head that way. Let's Alt M. Let's just see what we're getting into here. I forgot, I can't run. Oh, once again, my favorite track in the entire game. Fantastic. It's not obnoxious at all listening to that.
I love Looking Glass Studios, and I'm sure Eric Brocious had a hand in the soundtrack, but who played this for someone else and said, Oh, that sounds great. Put that in the game. That won't be like rubbing cheese graters on someone's eardrums at all. That's really good stuff. I'm glad, I'm glad that's in the game. Holy crap. We have to search through all of that? I think we're going to try and go up the mountain over here. I'm guessing it's gonna be on top of the mountain somewhere. Or maybe not. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna see. Hope we don't have to go into these slot canyons. Thought we might actually be able to get up on top of the mountain here. Nope, I guess not, so. Well, okay, let's go down here. Nope, nothing here. Oh, fantastic. Enemies in range. Incoming fire. From where? Two in range. Are they flyers? I'm not going to worry about them until they're down on the ground with us. Because there's nothing I, I... I mean, I... Look. Engaging enemy. Trash one. SLC, taking control of firefighting. Nice. Sight looks clear, sir. Let's check out this area. This is an odd level. I mean, it's close to the end, so maybe that's why they're kind of like pulling out all the stops, but this is really strange. I don't know what that was. That bim. Oh, it's one of those kind of infuriating missions that just makes you want to blow your brains out. Ah, oh, fantastic. Excellent. Excellent work, people. So apparently my character has like clipping, like an actual model with right, like, I mean obviously there's clipping for the floor and, and the sides of the walls, but my head does, like my, the shape of my head apparently has something to do with how the clipping works, so... Uh, I mean maybe it's on top of the mountain, I don't know. Could they be that evil? Well, I hear some electrical stuff. Like, I heard some- There's the ship! Alright! Duh. Alright. Let's get over to the ship here. Alright. Electronics. Special. Electronics. Special. Uh, repair spacecraft. Ooh, look at that frame rate. I don't know what I just did, but, uh... I don't know what happened to the frame rate there. Hold on.
Yeah, I really don't know what happened to the frame rate there. Oh my god! Go, go into the fucking dropship, let's go! Into the dropship- oh my god, guys! Fucking, oh my god, this game's physics just get in the... No, no, ah! Oh. Really? All right, we're gonna replay that mission. Fucking bitch. Let's see if the frame rate is still all jacked up. No, it's all fine now. I think that's because it's like trying to load a bunch of enemies in and stuff. All right, so if I remember correctly, it was about right here. So close. If I hadn't been out in the fray like that, I'd just drop a bunch of auto turrets next to the ship and then like stay near the ship, I think we would have been okay. I also hate how slow we have to move because my team is like stuck in molasses here. Okay. Why can't we have Gomez with us? Right. Very nice. Visual and sensors check out. Site is clean. I think we already went in there. I almost want normal armor just so I can fucking maneuver like Not see or do shit in this stuff. That's the ship team. Roger, squad leader. Oh, first of all.
All right, everyone else, we're just gonna stay here till what's his face or my brother gets out. Okay. All right, let's do it then. If you're if you're on if you're so on your way, then where are you? Just riveting gameplay. Right here, you know what I mean? This is the high octane uh, action you come to expect uh, on this channel. Although we did do it stealthy, sort of. All right. Okay, see? Easy peasy. Very easy. Nicely done. Very nicely done, if I do say so myself. That was That went off without a single hitch. Of course, I knew exactly where to go. How was I hurt? Okay. With the access codes from Sunny's ship, we should be able to make an assault without getting shot down clean from the sky. We've already begun rep preparations to shut off Carpaccio Station's defenses so we can bring our assault. I don't think I need to tell you how crucial that station is to the war. Sweet. Didn't get a medal. I'm gonna save over, no. Cancel, we're gonna save here. We're gonna say, last mission. All right, guys, I think this is the last one. We are at, we are nearing the end of the game. And let's see, news, library, review, reports, exit. There's nothing new in our terminal, we're ready to go. We have all the medals we're probably ever gonna get. Bad feeling. No more bad feelings, guys. There won't be any of us left. Listen up, goddammit. <laughs> all boils down to this one small moment where we find out what this squad is made of. The hogs have taken something from each of us. Today we take it all back with interest. Affi, is the squad ready? We're ready, Commander. All right, then. We've got a mission to run. Two seventy seven, sixty seven. I was about to say, oh, I'm not the top? No. And then, of course, Gomez. Fucking Gomez. Motherfucking Gomez. Stacking bodies like a fucking badass. All right, let's see what we got to do. Soldiers, the outcome of this mission will mean either victory or defeat in the war. We've inflicted serious losses on the hegemony in the last week of fighting. But since their capture of Carpaccio Station, the Hogs have withdrawn almost all of their remaining forces to the place, and are now refitting their transport ships as warships. Once they finish the refit, they'll be able to bombard our planets from space. Nicola, you'll be leading the squad. We've talked to officials at Clan Carpaccio, and they agree that the only alternative is to destroy the entire station, taking the ships and remaining hedge soldiers with it. And the key to do that is the primary fuel tank, located here at the station. Set up a big enough charge on that tank, and the whole damn station should go up. Macopine. We'll your demolitions expert with a special explosives module, an improved version of the Dentonium unit you took to Sarah. It's strong enough to flatten the fuel tank and the ships with it. However, it is very experimental and has a tremendous radius. We don't want you anywhere near it when it goes off. Plant the bomb and get back to the dropship as fast as you can. We'll then set the charge off remotely to guarantee you don't go up in flames with the rest of the station. You'll be dropped off at the edge of the station here and make your way to the station's primary fuel tank here. There's no need to keep reminding you how important this mission is. Good luck, soldiers. This is it. Okie dokie. MB Accelerator. Wartime emergency has hastened the development of the MB cannon. Additional servo generators in the launch system allow for several improvements. Greater shell velocity, faster reload time, though the weapon is still slow, and most notably, compressed ammunition, which has doubled the number of shells that will fit in the MB's magazine. Like the original MB cannon, this improved version is only usable on the heavy suit. I'm gonna try the ionic fusion rifle and I'm gonna go with uh, 
the auto turret, personal shield. Why do I need an electrician specialist? I don't need an electronic specialist. Gomez is injured, fuck you. And I can't take a different demo guy than Brant. Macopine. I'm gonna take a second demo guy just in case. Oh no, because he's not gonna have the Dentonium module, so. I guess I'll try it with gags and see what goes what goes down. Okay. Let's try it. Final drop, guys. So right off the bat, I'm just going to send the demo guy. Go ahead and special. So hold on. So click on him and it would be F3, F1, right? Okay. Well, I don't want to mess with this, so. Stay on me. Very nice. Things working pretty well. This is going. Alright, let's try this. Can we send him in now?
go, guys. Out of here. Famanos. Land already, buddy. Already at pickup. Gotta wait till the rest of the squads. I think we did it, guys. Roger out. And that is it. That is the end of Terra Nova's Strike Force Centaur. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, this music. Oh, yeah. Freeze frame. Mid 90s ridiculous music. I'm actually dancing in my chair, you guys can't tell. They did not resolve her getting her family back. 287, yeah, Gomez. I told you she's my girl. God damn. Trees terminated, 42. Total suit repair cost, 52,920. Number of kills, 287. Uh, total SFC time logged. So, yeah, if that's actually kind of interesting. Um... Look at this. This is 30810. I don't know if that's the correct, but actually, you know what? Yeah, because I spent a lot of time watching cutscenes, reading emails, uh, uh, futzing around with the recording and stuff like that. So 30810, I guess I only spent three actual hours inside missions, uh, which makes this a fairly short game. Um I don't know, guys. I, I actually really liked it. I thought it was great. The final mission was a bit... I thought it was going to be way tougher, but all I had to do is, like, the same strategy that keeps working. Set up a bunch of auto turrets, keep my squad pinned in one spot, focus all the enemies on us, and then just send in a lone demo man to do the thing that they want us to do. Um, and he didn't even have to blast the charges, so he died on his way back, and it was like, okay. It's weird. The difficulty curve, it kind of, like, spikes towards the middle, and then it just comes back down towards the end. Like, I think the hardest one was the one with the domes. Uh, the moon base. That was fairly difficult. Um, and anything where you have to escort. So, no, the hardest one for sure, the hardest mission for sure in the game was the one where I had to go by myself to take out the entire garrison and all the drones to protect all the trucks, and then I had to send the rest of the squad down to the shore to protect the launch pad for the spaceship that was the hardest one for sure um, and it wasn't even that difficult you just have to know where to go um, so yeah looking glass studios terra nova strike force centauri i'm glad i finally got a chance to play it i'm going to be putting this let's play up on the channel um, 
And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I, I hope that it's adding to the collective consciousness about this game. Because I think it's actually pretty cool and I really enjoyed it. I think there was an element of... tactical gameplay to it that was interesting but it, it never got so overwhelming with like planning or or making decisions in combat or anything like that the other thing is is because it is a little bit more fast-paced and frenetic you can, like once you get into a firefight there's not a whole ton that you can do the best thing you can do is try and like hide behind your squad mates to start issuing commands or changing things out or just wait for a lull in the battle um uh yeah but i i kind of liked the game uh there were definitely some issues with the missions, like the one with the domes. I wish that it had been possible to overload the station. You know, for example, that maybe there's a smaller enemy presence down at the station, but you, ha you have to worry about destroying the station. But the enemy pre I mean, literally the station is right now. It's like three steps from the fucking dome, so it doesn't matter. All of those troops are going to come down, and they're going to start shooting at you. And everyone's using grenade launchers, so inevitably you're going to blow up the, the control station. So there's really no point in not just going straight after the domes. Um, especially when you have the MB cannon and stuff. Uh, but overall, I really liked the game. Um, and yeah, I may do a review on it, but it, uh, I may not. But I'm glad I got to share my experience with you. This was a, a blind playthrough of uh, Terra Nova Strike Force Centauri. So let's see. Drag the brick. Maybe like salt the fries type of uh, Dorian Hart. I know Austin Grossman and Tim Stalmach, Paul Nerath, obviously, has the original concept. Art Min. Mark LeBlanc, I know him, and Dan Schmidt. I think they're both on the Looking Glass uh, podcast. Seamus Blackley was on this one. Doug Church. I think I've heard of him before, Kevin Wasserman. Obviously, Tin Stelmach. Uh, like I said, I thought the story was pretty okay, too. I thought the writing and acting weren't actually as cringy as I thought they were going to be. I mean, not to be confused with good, but they were, they were fine. Um, audio video engineer. Oh, this is for the movies. Okay, so yeah, I think they outsourced this to a, a different, like, set of people. I don't think these were people... Well, no, that's not true, because I heard that uh, people who were looking, or working at Looking Glass, were having to uh, take time away to work on the FMVs and stuff. Here's the cast. I swear, I swear, I have seen, uh, not McAllister, McCullough, Dean, I, I swear I've seen her in something else. I don't know what. Yeah, Terry Brocious is the talking suit. Actually, I think Eric Brocious is in this as well. He's one of the computers. Here we go. New ground, uh, New Hope Ground Control. Eric Brocious, yeah. Greg Lopicolo. So the AV lead, Greg Lopicolo. I'm pretty sure he did a lot of the music. It's very reminiscent of System Shock. Um, oh, I guess not. Eric and Terry did it. Never mind. Um... But I, they probably got some input from uh, Greg because, like, there's too many tracks that sound very much like System Shock. Yeah, sound effects, I can believe that. Eric Brocious. Um, I believe Harvey Smith, I don't think he worked on this game, but I know he was a, a QA tester for Looking Glass. I think he was. That, at least that's the story. So. Ned Lerner, Paul Narath. Yep. I guess Lerner was still part of uh, Looking Glass at this point. I don't know if he ever left or if, or if he did leave or anything like that. Um, Team Schmitty would like to give special thanks to Price Costco. Did they already? It used to be the Price Club. Price Club. Uh, at least on this side of the the U.S. I'm in the Western 
outside of the U.S. I'm in Arizona, so we used to be the Price Club. I don't know if they changed it to. I remember they changed it to Costco, but I thought that was closer to like 99, 98. So maybe this is what they called it on the East Coast, which is why it just became Costco because it priced Costco. Um, cans of cans for cancer. Oh, okay. Bertucci's. Okay, I guess it just quits the game after that. That was a little strange. <laughs> the game just quits. Um, anyways, so it's just going to be a blank screen and just me talking. Yeah, I figured it'd be about 30, 35 minutes between me reading emails, uh, talking nonsense, and actually doing the missions. I think we did the last two or three together. Um, but yeah, guys, once again, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of Terra Nova Strike Force Centauri. And if you liked what you saw here, um, be sure to check it out. It's on Steam. I believe it's on GOG. Uh, this was one of the Night Dive uh, Studios um, efforts. They found the game and uh, basically ported it to make sure it worked with DOSBox very well. So, um, yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for joining me in this Let's Play of Terra Nova Strike Force Centauri. Uh, keep an eye on the channel for a possible review, but definitely more Let's Plays of Looking Glass Studios games. I think the next one I would like to do is Thief Gold. So. Thanks for tuning in and take care.